In our health cast today, University of Florida researchers have found a way to edit and then replace genes that are involved in an eye disorder. The scientists say the preclinical findings are just a crucial step in developing a treatment for a disorder known as cone rod dystrophy 6, which leads to a loss of vision. So patients that have cone rod dystrophy 6 tend to present within the first decade of life, so before the age of 10. They have um, problems seeing color, they have um, light sensitivity, and eventually the photoreceptors in their very central retina, their cone photoreceptors, start to degenerate. So along with additional mouse model testing, the researchers are hoping to partner up with a private industry to further develop this technique of eye gene editing. And the CDC is launching a new initiative to help hospitals better treat sepsis. The program will help organize staff and also identify resources needed to bring sepsis rates down. Data shows that about a third of all patients who develop sepsis in the hospital ultimately ended up dying. The condition occurs when the body's immune system overreacts to an infection, which can lead to fatal damage to tissues and organs. And guess what? Drinking beer, it could actually be good for your gut. And that's according to a study in the latest volume of the journal Frontiers in Nutrition. The findings highlighted uh, how beer contains some essential amino acids, vitamins, trace elements, and bioactive substances, which can have a beneficial impact on your gut. The effects are so strong, researchers say, they could be more powerful than even probiotics. But of course, you don't want the beer belly, so the key is to drink beer in moderation.